Hello everybody, I'm glad you're here today. What I am going to share with you is very serious. It's important we pay attention to it. And you need to be considering these words right now because uh, they are applicable. Uh, this is, if, if, um, if this were a moment with me and my children when they were young, I would probably grab them by the shoulders. It's, I call it a mama moment where I, um, I absolutely am like, hey, you better listen to me and you better pay attention to what I'm about to tell you because I don't chew my cud twice and so you better listen the first time. That's how serious this moment is. I believe we are at the brink of nuclear war. I believe we are at the, the very least at the brink of a, of a nuclear detonation. I bring you some words that I believe Father shared with me during my worship time during October of 2022. These words have to do with nuclear war. Once again, let me say that one more time and hear the seriousness in my voice and the intensity in which I am feeling these things right now, these words, these impressions I got from the Father during October of 2022 have to do with nuclear war in the United States of America. All right? That being said, I will say I am not claiming that these words are prophetic I am not saying I am a prophetess, and I am not saying that these are the perfect words, thus saith the Lord. I'm not saying those things. So filter everything I'm about to read to you through that understanding. This has been cooking on my mind for a long time, and I have been hesitant to bring it to you, very hesitant until the last 24 hours when I saw Lindsey Graham and is it Ro Rosenthal, uh, the Democrat and the Republican, bring a resolution to the floor of the Senate to respond to any nuclear episode in Europe over there between those two countries as being an act of war and that we would respond so violently. I'm going to link that video. It's New York Prepper did a real good job posting it on his channel. I'm going to make a link to that in the description below so you can look at it yourself. Is it a deep fake? Maybe. Am I supposed to believe this? I'm filtering it, but yeah, it looks pretty credible. Canadian Prepper is also reporting on this. When I saw that, I thought, wow, those are mighty bold words. I, I, hmm, that's something to take note of. Then, before I went to bed last night, I see this military coup, coup taking place in between those countries that are at war right now. Um, and I thought, what is that? And as I, I didn't even want to go into it before I went to bed last night, but when I looked at it this morning, I thought, okay. Another tripwire, another red flag. What does this mean? It feels as if we're trying to get off high center. Like, like this whole conflict has been on high center and now it's being tipped to get off a high center and we're fixing to maybe in the next two weeks, maybe today, I don't know, see something take place that is going to shift the world. I, I don't know. It's definitely worth watching. Oh my word. Please be very alert right now. But mainly be alert in Christ and in God. He does not want us to get too distracted with the things going on in the, on the world stage. So I want to bring these. I'm going to read these to you. I, there are no, I'm not bringing you dreams and visions today. I'm bringing you a word from my journal. From October 8th. 2022, October 25th, 2022, and October 30th, 2022. If you get tired of listening, fast forward or just click off. I, I don't know. I'm just going to take as long as it takes. But I asked Father in prayer, in my worship time, I asked him, I said, is nuclear war coming? What is it going to look like? 
And he shared this with me, and I'm sensing today, and all I can do is obey him as best I know how, is, is him saying, share this now. Share this now. All right, gang, I'm going to share it now. So buckle up, here it goes. October 8th, 2022. The moment I have been warning you about is now upon you. Put your hand in mine. I will sustain all who come to me. And then I, I just was praying. I asked God, what is this moment? War? Your return? What is this moment you're talking about, Father? And this is what I heard him say. My children have been hearing me through dreams and visions and my movement of their feelings. They know. The ones who know me know my warnings, my directions for them, good and bad. They know what comes from me. And so I say, bear down and brace for what will soon be near you. And I ask, I just asked because I didn't know what else, I didn't know what else to do. But like, I got to just shoot straight with you, Father. What? I said, is it nuclear war, Father? Is it nuclear war? And he said, yes and yes and yes. But child, hear me. It is the war for the hearts of man I speak up to you. The battle man has within himself. He must turn to me now before it is too late for so many. Sound the alarm. Death is near by marching across the face of the earth, grabbing and destroying. What you are seeing in your news and in your media is the murderer grabbing the low-hanging fruit. The intent, child, is to drag the lost into the fiery pits. But my intent is to shout, The Lord God Creator saves. Be not silent, my children. Tell all who will listen. Now is the time to fall down at the feet of my son Jesus. Do not be pulled under by the undertow of the wave of madness that will surely catch many off guard. You, my children, must walk this fine line of knowing what's ahead, but not fearing it. You must prepare yourselves, but not panic. You must tell others, but not despair, for the message is hope, love, peace, salvation. Step into this, my children. For as many of you as there are, your force is not to be reckoned with. Even one of you carries such a threat to the enemy that he cowers in the corner to get away. You see, children, that will, uh, you see, children, it is my power within you that will sustain you in the coming days. Be ready, children. But do not huddle, shrink away, and fear. No. Stand and know Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Okay. That was October 8th. Okay. Here is October 25th. At 4.50 a.m. How close, Father? How close are we to nuclear war? Until the bombs are dropped. I just... I just asked him that in prayer. After I'd been in worship for an hour or so, I just was led. I just asked him that, not knowing exactly what he was going to say, but I have to ask. And he said, a razor's edge. Child, that is what divides you and that moment. A razor's edge, child, divides you and that moment. It will come and the world will shift mightily. Fear not. I warn you now, be steady. Be of sober mind. I said, I asked him, 
Okay, well, so after I heard that, I was shaken. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little shaken by that. He, I said, what else do I need to know, Father? What else do you want to tell me? Is there anything else you want to share with me, Lord? The nuclear exchange will stun the world into silence. So I sensed that I heard him say, and it was an impression I had, I wrote it down, the nuclear exchange will stun the world into silence. But that will be short-lived, for what follows the silence will be more devastating than the bombs themselves. I said, do I pray against these events? And I heard him say, pray that the lost will be found and all will call upon the name of the Son, for he will steady the land. He will alter the outcome in the lives of many. I said, how will I know this is about to happen? Is there a sign that I should be looking for? I just asked him, is there some kind of sign I should be looking for? And he said, you know now, child. You know now. All right, so that was the end of that prayer time with God. And then not much longer, my, my next entry, actually, on October 30th, 2022. This is what I heard the Lord say. Um, Y'all, it's a little long, but just hang with me. I think you'll find it beneficial. October 30th, 2022. Write this down, my child. In the coming days, there will be much sorrow upon the face of the earth. Remember this. You, my children, are my light. Darkness runs from you. The difficulties that lie ahead of you are already seen by me. Nothing comes as a surprise to me, my children. Therefore, let me remind you, I stand at the ready to carry you above the difficulties of the coming days. You will see. You will hear. You will even tremble. But I will steady you. My grip is on you. My grip on you will tighten so that you will not crumble beneath the, bl the blows coming against you. Look up and see me, for I am near. And I just, I just asked God, I said, what are these blows? What are these blows, Father? Shock. It will be the shock of what you thought would never happen, happening. The enemy is eager to shock you with world events. In doing that, he knows fear will soon follow. But I say, children, listen now and brace for the shock, knowing it will come wave after wave. Until you ask, can anything else happen to us? And at that moment, more will blow your way. Until you ask, how can we stand this? And the enemy will gleefully gather his fearful followers to, uh, to instill more fear. But you, my children, hear me now, before these things occur. Before these things occur. I shower you with strength from heaven. Liquid silver and gold pouring over you, anointing you with me, so that you will not crumble beneath the shock of the coming days. You see, your father loves you and wants no harm to falter your path. So I say to you now, ready yourselves to hear me in the coming days, for lies will be all around you like a whirlwind of dust. Seek not the things of this earth, but look at the heavenly things and run. Yes, I say run towards them with all your might. 
My love and forgiveness wash over you during these days. Seek me first. Seek me forever. No longer do you need to bend in the winds of change. No longer will you lose your footing in the shifting sand beneath your feet, for you will stand on solid ground, lifted and placed, so you will never fall. The rock of my salvation, no man can touch you. Satan will run from you. Never be afraid, for I, your God, the creator of all things, I have placed you higher on solid ground. Rejoice, my children, for I am coming soon. All right, those are the three entries I wanted to share with you today. And you can do with those what you please. I hope they encourage you. I hope they get you moving if you need to get moving. Uh, time is of the essence. We no longer have the, the luxury of time or the luxury of days gone by. This is not the America I grew up in. These are not times I have ever lived before. And I promise you, y'all, I went across the street or across the alley next door to my parents' house last night to show them that uh, clip of the Lindsey Graham and uh, warning about warning about nuclear war and how imminent it seems to be. Now they didn't use that word, so don't don't hear that. But there was there was quite a sense of urgency. Were they acting? Maybe. Are they liars? Pro I think they lie. Yeah, I don't know what they're. But anyway, that's 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 not for me to say. Clearly, they're in positions of power, and. They, they are privy to information that you and I are not. And when they come out and start speaking the way they did yesterday, I'm going to listen to it and sift it pretty hard. And when I did, and when I got up this morning and heard about the coup and learned more about that, I was like, oh my goodness, things are happening very quickly now. And it might level out again and we go through a period of time of nothing going on on the world stage. But we might not. This may just shift us hard enough to get off a high, high center. I felt led and I feel relieved, actually, to have brought you these words this morning about the nuclear threat. I don't know. Like I say, I'm not a prophet. I don't think it's about being right and wrong. I just think it's about obeying as best I can. So I bring you sincerely, I sincerely bring you my heart and I'm sharing with you some very personal moments I had with Father. I have nothing to gain by sharing this with you. I am a homemaker in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> in the middle of rural USA. Uh, we don't. Y'all, I have to go pick up my mail. I mean, I don't even have a mailbox outside my house. That's how rural I am. I have no agenda except the cause of Christ. If you have not repented, if you are not following him, now is the time to plant your feet firmly in the truth that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus was and is God. He was God in flesh. Jesus died and was risen and ascended. And we received the Holy Spirit, which is God in us. When we commit our lives to him and are baptized. And follow. And follow his teaching for the rest of our lives. Because we love him. That's all I have, y'all. Pay attention and be alert. Now is the time for very sober thinking and to not only prepare your hearts, but to prepare your homes. Get your affairs in order. That's all I have to say. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.